Welcome to Tech 301, Conduct and Whiteface. In many cases, being a mime is the most enjoyable experience that one can have. Still, there is a lot of temptation to break the conduct related to being a mime. Since mime is an art form, its art must also be respected and revered in order for it to be used properly. The rules are simple and should be followed wherever you are. When are you a mime? You are a mime when you are wearing a recognizable mime outfit in public whether it is ceremonial or basic, and it includes no white face and no gloves. Also, wearing white face or partial white face is a way to tell if you are a mime. As a general rule, if it is recognizable that you are a mime, please follow the rules. They are as follows. Do not speak. The basic level idea of being a mime, silence. If you need to communicate to each other, communicate through sign language, gestures, or writing on paper. If you need to communicate, use anything but your vocal cords. Act appropriately. That can include questionable actions, godly conduct, being respectful of others, and anything else that might be appropriate. Be outgoing and friendly. No one likes a boring jerk mime. Besides that, being godly is the goal. Do not make people afraid of mimes. Some small children are already scared of mimes. Don't make them even more scared. In addition, some of them who are not scared yet, please keep them that way. Silently preach the gospel, not just in songs, but in action and in character. Give glory to God when those around you compliment for you for your performance in presentations. Humility is the key. You may be the best mime that you know, but you still need to give the glory to God for giving you those abilities. This is done most commonly by pointing up to God when someone compliments you. God is always at the top. That is all for Tech 301. Thank you for watching. Please remember to donate to the Digital Mimes free online database for everything Mime Ministry.